All right, here's another video on what I'm doing with this idea of using uh, ambient light energy in the home to uh, to run things. It's not a lot unless you have a large solar panel, but uh, what I'm interested in are the toys. You know, I, I get a big bang out of small toys and making them and seeing what they can do and, and the efficiency and stuff. And this is an interesting example of some of the things I've studied and learned. Now, this is a little, uh, what they call a pop. Uh, point of purchase advertising waving devices you can get them on eBay and it has a little coil in there with a couple of magnets that go back and forth across the coil and it has a very very efficient circuit that runs on this little solar panel just like the waving flowers same thing and it has a capacitor in it and a nice little two uh, transistor circuit but this is the thing I showed in my last video this is the uh, California non-stop runner that runs all the time with that little panel with that little uh, depleted down to about one volt uh, alkaline button cell but I want to show this uh, you notice here on the multimeter uh, it's got zero because I have it shorted out uh, these two things are in parallel here and this thing here when that magnet goes back and forth in front of that coil it induces electricity it becomes a generator basically and um, one of the reasons these are so efficient is as that mo gets into motion, um, Newton's law about uh, a body in motion tends to stay in motion unless it's acted on by some other force, really comes into play. And it'll generate electricity just by moving back and forth. I've got a radio here so you can hear this thing start up from the energy that I'm going to put in with my finger. Okay, I'm going to un undo this here. This is going to bounce back just a little bit, but now I'm going to start to wag this thing back and forth with my finger. Watch the energy come into it. And this is making energy. This is actually making energy by the motion of that pendulum going back and forth. You see how that's going up. If I do this enough times, and so just keep climbing up. When this gets up to just about half a volt, this thing starts up. I'm going to load up that capacitor using my finger as the energy source. And I thought this was really interesting, thought, so I thought I would share this uh, with people. That these little devices, when they get into motion, they're actually generating um, electricity at the same time they're using it. It's the back EMF that uh, is going on with that coil and that magnet, that dance between the coil and the magnet. It's very interesting how that works. Okay, when this gets up to about half a volt, you're going to start to hear this fire up. You can't see it because it's too bright out, but you can hear it. And that was just me putting the energy in with my finger. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the energy source. And to me, um, and my friend down in Florida, Mart Hale, where we live, this makes a lot of sense because we get a lot of sun sunlight. And that's a free energy source as far as I'm concerned. Once you buy that thing, it makes energy for free. You don't have to do much, especially if it's inside where it's not out in the elements, like what I'm playing with. I mean, it just goes on and on and on for, for a long time. And there comes the free energy right there. You hear it on the radio. You can't see that blink, unfortunately, very well. Of course, this thing is going to town now. And that's the amount of voltage that that little tiny solar panel is generating for both of these devices. Now what I've been playing with is the storage of it. And I've been using supercapacitors and different kinds of rechargeable batteries. But this was the latest thing I've been trying was these alkaline batteries that are depleted down to the point where they want to accept a charge back. Not when they're ruined, but when they're just discharged partly. And that's with that alkaline cell on there. See how that's bouncing around. Now, if I didn't have this thing hooked up to that, 
and just that running, this would actually start climbing up. And that's what I've been doing is I've been getting these devices to run non-stop. If I reduce the load down far enough, I can get these things to run day and night. And uh, anyway, I thought I would just share that with people. And that is my non-stop runner. And that's been running for months. And I finally put her in a box. And uh, you notice I went to a great big solar panel and a 10 farad supercapacitor. And then that's a solar garden light so I can see it run at night. And it sits over there. And uh, that gets enough sunlight during the day uh, that uh, it runs all the time, day and night. Now, I don't know what's going to happen this winter. It's been running for several months now. And uh, I may have to move it around, but we'll see what happens during the winter months. But that's, that's what uh, a spinner looks like that runs nonstop here in California. So that's my little show for today. That's uh, more on these uh, California self-running circuits that I'm working with. Thanks for watching.